uh, guys, if you could each take this. When you're prepping for this game, does the term number one come up at all, or is it just about Tennessee? Uh, this is a team that we've played for a couple of years, so we don't you know, get too hype off the fact that it's number one. We just playing them like we would for any other team in preparation. Yeah, basically what Sonny said, we were just prepared to play another game. Uh, but uh, the fact that uh, they're number one is just uh, mean that they do things the right way every time. So we got to be paying attention to like every details. Mm -hmm. Chris, you've obviously gone up against Grant Williams a couple of times now. Just what does he do that's so difficult to guard against? And how do you kind of plan, I guess, try to limit him as much as you can on Tuesday night? Uh, he do a good job reading uh, the defense. And uh, uh, every time I try to get physical, uh, he like outsmart me, like try to use his body for like a, 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 a smart move. And like whenever I try to play smart, he like, uh, like try to be physical and like uh, uh, pass the ball really well. So those are things uh, in practice. Uh, while I'm in practicing, I got to pay attention and like um, keep in mind. For either of you guys, um, Frank said Saturday that the lead up to the game wasn't exactly the best. He said you guys didn't have a good practice Friday. Well, what about the preparation, I guess, kind of led to you guys coming up short on Saturday? Just guys being focused. And that's what one of the things that he said as well. Um, he said that we all had good energy and everything, but the focus just wasn't there. And like Chris just said, you know, about his matchup, paying attention to detail. And there were some guys that weren't paying attention to detail leading up to the game. And that's why uh, we had some missed assignments and they ended up coming out with the win. Chris, is, is Grant the most uh, savvy player, the smartest player that you've gone up against during your career? What, what, what do you think makes him that way? Uh, probably his size. Uh, the fact that uh, he's not like 6'9 and, and like with a large wingspan makes him like uh, one of the smallest, not the smallest, but like undersized post player. So. Uh, which I give him credit. He got to use his brain to like uh, overcome a lot, like um, like his size and like length and all that. I guess. Asani, you were just talking about it a second ago. This team, it seems at points this year, has had trouble being consistent in preparation. Why do you think it's been so difficult for this year's team to have that type of consistency in practices leading up to games? Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, the fact that we have a lot of freshmen, so immaturity. Um, other than that, I can't really say. I mean, that's something that each one of us has to, you know, bring to the table each and every day of practice or whether it's a game or practice. So. Sonny talked about not getting too hyped over them being number one because obviously you're familiar with them. Mm -hmm. Can you take anything from last year's games that were both competitive and both you had a shot to win? I mean, basically, it's the same roster for them. Obviously, you guys have changed some things differently, but mm -hmm. can you take much from last year's games and apply it to tomorrow night? Yeah. Um, I mean, watching the film and stuff, you know, there's a lot of things that we did well in that game, and there's, you know, some mistakes that we made. So making sure that we clean up the mistakes that were made and, you know, both, like you said, both those games came down to the wire and just making sure that, um, you know, it could be expected that this game come down to the wire as well, just making sure that we make the right decisions and, you know, keeping that focus that Coach talked about in the end so that we can come out, you know, victorious. Chris, you guys have consistently played up against, you know, ranked teams here at CLA and had success in years past. And this year, too, you're 3-0 and in the SEC at home. Does it help having this game on your own court? And what's that boost that you get from playing uh, on the Garden of Black Hardwood? Uh, the fans, uh, the fans was a big part of uh, why we, we, we came out uh, with energy and like play with emotions. Uh, this past game I had success. Uh, preparation was uh, on the court was a good thing too because uh, before you step on the court, you know what I'm saying, you, you want to shoot, uh, get a feel for the basket and all that. So those, part, those, those things like play a big part
just being a part of this program, have you guys just seen, I think there used to be a thing in here about when you know, Devin scored 30 points against Kentucky and, and beat them. Have you guys seen clips of that? Of that game or at all, and, and I know you guys have played with Devin, obviously at you know pro amps and stuff like that. Have you ever has that game ever been brought up uh, as such a big piece of this arena's history? Uh, I've in our old locker room uh, in the Coliseum, I've seen it playing on the TV. Um, I didn't really catch the whole game, but you know I've obviously seen some of the highlights of it. Um, and he's a really good player, so he's he's well respected around here. So definitely. You know, I definitely heard of it. Um, can't say that I've watched too much film on him, but I mean, obviously playing him in the program, I could see his skill and talent.